Donald Trump this morning called out a new trend that he has identified, and that is states introducing biblical literacy classes, and he's a big fan of that. He tweeted numerous states introducing Bible literacy classes, giving students the option of studying the Bible. Starting to make a turn back, great. This coming from obvious devoted Christian Donald Trump. But I understand, look, it's it's ridiculous, it's always been a charade. Right. Him running as an evangelical has only made him and evangelicals look hypocritical and sort of absurd. And even worse in this case, because he's only saying that because he saw it in Fox and Friends. Less than a half an hour before he tweeted that, they talked about the biblical literacy classes. And he doesn't have time to pay attention to his daily briefings as president, but he does have time to watch Fox and Friends. And even then, he didn't even get it right. It is not that a bunch of states have introduced biblical literacy classes, it's right. that they're considering bills that would allow for it. Which they shouldn't, it's absolutely ridiculous. And I, and I am always like saying, I'm like a proud Christian, but other religions or the desire to not have one or practice one, that matters too. And it shouldn't be forced upon you in school. They want to have like a, I don't know, some sort of like extra night class. I think the president should go. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think that- um, There's yeah. sections of the New Testament I think maybe <laughs> right. he could read. I think that maybe he needs a refresher. Mm -hmm. But because yeah. he, you know, he's like pitching it and using it, and it doesn't really match what I thought Christianity was. Yeah. So, but no, it shouldn't be. This is it's ridiculous, and it's even more ridiculous that our president, we have a president that would support something like this. Yeah. Or pretend to support it. Right. Not right. even caring enough to actually look into it to know what's actually going on. Um, yeah. Look. If they do this at the state level, it's it's possible that in certain states there won't really be a challenge to anything. Obviously, there are, there are concerns about the constitutionality of requiring every student to literally study the religious texts of one particular religion. Right. I will now do the obvious thing that you have to do. What if it was the Quran? What if it was the Torah? What if it was any of these books? I know you've it heard would be this like before. Absolutely not. Of course, yeah. like in. In Iowa or Utah, it's like we are requiring every student to spend 20 units per semester studying the Quran. No, it's not that we want them to become Muslims. We just think it's an important historical document and thus merits study. That is the exact thing that they say about the Bible. It is as true of any of these texts. All of them have been followed for literally hundreds of thousands of years by literally millions or hundreds of millions of people. You can make that case for any document. In America, it is only made for, I would say two, but not even really the New Testament. Generally, they're gonna be studying Leviticus and stuff like that. <laughs> um, but obviously, this is not, like we have so little time in classes. Teachers are striking because of the lack of resources, the need to teach to the tests and all that. And instead, we're gonna put more of their time into studying These the Bible. These kids need to be learning Spanish, okay, not the Bible. Oh my you can God. learn the Bible in Sunday school at church if that's what you choose to do. How many right wingers did you just trigger by saying, don't study the Bible, learn <laughs> Spanish? Just think in school. And it's their greatest nightmare <laughs> ever. Jesus. That's so sad. Yeah, I do. I do support that more, though. Um, I, I doubt that this is one of the sort of Trump outbursts on Twitter that's going to translate any any sort of political action or anything like mm -hmm. that. Um, but expect that it probably will fire up some evangelicals, a group that he definitely relied on to get elected the first time. And if he's to have any chance in the second time, he is going to need them. So I, I would expect that you're probably going to hear more of this sort of thing from him in the next two years. There are options to learn the Bible on your own. There are. You could buy a Bible. Hello. Just don't buy it from Amazon, that'll piss Trump off. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this clip from the Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.